So now we're going to talk about submitting an award in IPSE. So IPSE allows members to submit awards on behalf of other members within their organization, within their chain of command. A comp Alpha Company could not submit an award for somebody from Bravo Company, uh, but anybody in Alpha Company could submit an award for on behalf of someone else um, in Alpha Company. And so this really frees up or provides a lot of opportunity. Um, not that leaders couldn't do that before, um, but now it's all going to be um, within the system. But it's important to note that only awards below the Legion of Merit will be submitted in IPSA and only for individuals within that organizational command. I couldn't, if I'm, you know, one, two, three infantry, we could not submit an award for somebody in four, five, six infantry. It'd have to be within our organizational hierarchy. Uh, and, and, and as you progressively go up from company to battalion to brigade, you know, th that's how that applies. When IPSA, when the award is approved, IPSA will generate the order and then send that order to the individual's IPERMS or AMHRR. Um, so what we're going to do in this lesson is we're just going to show you how, as a member, you can submit an award for an individual within your organization. So right now I'm just logged in as any old soldier on in IPSA uh, in my account, and I'm going to create a PAR. An award is a PAR. So I'll click on my personal action request. And then over here on the right, you'll see um, my buddy pars. So if I go ahead and click on my buddy pars, I will see what I've submitted. Um, and this is where I'll begin to generate the process of creating a par. Now I have submitted no pars on behalf of anyone else. So now I'm going to click create a par. All right. And I, in this previous screen, if I had done several awards, they would all be showing up in here. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and pick um, Specialist Kaley in here. And we're going to say the effective date is today, and we're going to create an award recommendation. And the reason is going to be for achievement. So we went to the field, coming back, giving the soldier an award. And we're going to give them an AAM. We're going to actually give them an RCOM, um, just a regular old RCOM. And we click continue. Now here, we, if you've seen the PAR video, um, we, this should look very familiar. Uh, but since this is an award, it's going to have different requirements and different options to fill things in. But from here, what we're going to do is the period of award. So we went to the field from the 2nd of May until the 5th of May. And the proposed presentation date, uh, we're going to have an award ceremony on the 20th. And then in the achievements, I'm going to write um, anything. I'll fill it in. Okay, so I filled in a few things here. Um, achievement, the number of achievements or what we put in the achievements, that's going to be all about unit policy. Um, you know, how many characters, we're limited in the number of characters, but what do we want to discuss? Do we want it to be bullet format? All of that sort of thing. Um, whether you can use acronyms and abbreviations, all of that stuff to include the narrative or the citation in a, in a narrative if, if necessary. All of that is laid out through 600-8-22 and then unit policy or brigade policy. So in this instance, it's going to be very simple, very easy to do. Okay, and now that we've um, inputted the information we need, we're going to hit the save button and we'll click next. So now we would attach any type of att attachments. So in some instances, um, the unit may require a previous awards worksheet, uh, and that's typically to validate that they're not getting a, an award for the same thing. Maybe it's some kind of witness statement if it's something to that effect. I, it, it's really up to the, what the unit policy is, whether or not there's an attachment. And then we'll go ahead and click Save. We're not going to attach anything here. We're going to click Next. We're going to validate the, um, we're going to validate the part. And now the soldier is completely eligible. We saw this in the PAR video where you validate that the individual is eligible. We click the Next button. So we've validated that all of our information here is correct, what we want. We know that because it's a PAR, the first place it's going to go is the S1 pool. So there's really no need to look here. We have no display or error warnings. So we're going to click Submit. And now I have submitted a PAR on behalf of someone in my organization. And you can see here that it's going to go to the uh, S1 pool for confirmation. So I click Continue. 
And now the transaction has been sent to the Battalion S1 pool. And that's it. That's how easy it is to submit a PAR or an award on behalf of someone in your organization. Anybody can submit a buddy PAR. It's just important to remember that it's for Legion of Merit and below, and it has to be for individuals in your organization. Now, I understand that a Bronze Star is lower than a Legion of Merit, but we're not talking about wartime awards. Legions of Merit, MSM, ARCOM, AAM, those types of awards are going to be, you're going to be able to submit those through IPSA. Any type of wartime award or um, for anyone outside of my organization has to still be done on the 638 paper copy and will have to be manually added to their record, um, which we talked about in a video a, um, a little while ago. Uh, we talked about creating a um, or updating individual records through IPSA, and that would also have to be sent directly to their IPERMs. Next, we're going to take that award as an S1 that was just submitted. We're going to take that award and we're going to add it to the routing using workflows. So um, be sure to follow along. S click that subscribe button so you can see how we continue to do awards. We still we are on uh, Facebook and Twitter. We do some posting of the videos in there as well. We are posting these videos on S1Net, so I'd appreciate a follow on that stream. Uh, go ahead and give me some stars on the post, some stars on the video. Um, give me all that internet swag um, for our videos and our posts on uh, MillSuite. I uh, appreciate you watching. Reach out, let us know what you think. Defend and serve.